Studying is not a straight path. It's more like a winding maze to finish university. To see you through, you'll need to study other people's ideas, words and websites so you can form your own ideas and develop skills to finish your studies and exit the maze. It's easy to think copying and pasting other people's work will help you finish sooner, but in reality, you'll just find yourself at a dead end. If you don't credit your source or present the ideas or words from another as your own, either intentionally or unintentionally, you may be guilty of plagiarism. Referencing helps you avoid plagiarism and is the only path to take to help you exit the maze and truly succeed in your studies. In this video, we'll show you how to properly reference using the APA referencing method. This will include the difference between a direct quote and paraphrasing, how to complete an in-text citation for a quote or paraphrase, and how to write your end of text reference list. Referencing is a standardized set of rules that you'll use to give credit to your sources. At Swinburne Online, education and psychology units use the APA referencing method. Check the unit details in your online classroom. Let's take a look at how to reference using this method. When referencing, begin with in-text citations. These citations allow your readers to link your key points to where your information was sourced. All sources cited, with the exception of personal communication and references to classical works, need to include an alphabetical reference list with the full bibliographical details of all sources at the end of your document. If you use the exact words from a source, you're using a direct quote. Only 10% of your overall word count can be in direct quotes, which is why it's so important to learn how to paraphrase. Paraphrasing expresses the same meaning of the quote, but in your own words. Regardless of whether you're using a direct quote or paraphrasing, you must use an in-text citation. Let's take a look at how to do that. When referencing a direct quote, enclose the quote with double quotation marks. When using the APA referencing method, the in-text citation should be written immediately after the quote before the end punctuation mark. You cite a quote using the APA referencing method this way. Take note of the punctuation as this is important. When referencing a paraphrase, you can either begin your sentence with the in-text citation or end with it. Regardless of how you use your in-text citation, you still need to follow the same rules as set out by the APA referencing method. Your in-text citations must link to the full entry in the end of text reference list at the end of your assessment. A great way to do this is to open a different doc and simply add to your reference list each time you write an in-text citation. Just make sure you reorder them in alphabetical order before you submit. For a book reference, you must include the following information. The author or editor, year of publication, book title, its edition, volume number, place of publication, and publisher. Use the APA referencing method this way taking note of the order of the information and the punctuation used. Before you submit your assignment, don't forget to cross-check all your in-text citations with your reference list. At Swinburne Online, there's lots of help available to see you through the study maze. You can check out the APA referencing format for different types of sources in the Library APA Referencing Guide. You can also find more information about referencing and academic integrity in the student portal. And our student advisor team can also assist you with general queries about research and referencing.